reported today in The Verge. Why individuals won't fix online misinformation, but they're the best option we've got. Earlier this month, we published a guide to figuring out what's real on the internet, whether that means spotting a malicious fake news site or an innocent post with bad information. We also explained that individuals can only do so much. Schools, governments, web platform owners, and other institutions need to tackle bigger issues at a structural level. But that's a much tougher task, and it might require a new way of thinking about the internet. Whitney Phillips is an expert on the dark side of internet culture. She's the author of Trolling Ethnography This is Why We Can't Have Nice Things as well as the Data and Society Report The Oxygen of Amplification, which laid out a toxic feedback loop between well-meaning journalism and harmful propaganda. Now, drawing on social media scholar Claire Wardle's term information pollution, she and College of Charleston scholar Ryan Milner are writing a book that reframes the digital world as an ecosystem in crisis. In an interview with The Verge, Phillips explains how individual solutions aren't going to fix the web, but why, right now, they're the best option we have. This interview has been condensed and lightly edited for clarity. The internet is full of viral half-truths, honest mistakes, outright lies, and other unreliable information. But in many cases, you can cut through the chaos by following a few simple rules. What's the book you're currently working on about, and what are you hoping people will get out of it? The name of this book is You Are Here, a field guide for navigating polluted information, and that's the idea, that we need to have a better sense of where we individually sit within all these structures and systems, and until that becomes a basic part of media literacy, we're going to be responding to symptoms as opposed to the underlying causes. We're arguing that we need to think ecologically and frame the problem more in the terms of the climate crisis. That feeds into some specific strategies that people can take, but it's more about mapping how we got here and how our networks push us into this very complicated space and what we can do moving forward. One of the more overarching themes throughout the book is using the term polluted information as opposed to either disinformation or misinformation. When you're talking about offline pollution, polluters who are actively trying to pollute obviously pollute. But so do people who aren't intending to. Just washing your hair or using Drano is going to contribute to the overall problem, even if you totally love the earth. We're also using the metaphors of redwood root systems, and that focuses on the means by which polluted information travels. Another metaphor is land cultivation. Everyday actions, whether they're delib for more on this story, visit the news article link.